Meno, who is the handler of the agent? Who is his boss? Uh, I am Mr. Chairman. May I know if the agent uh, concerned is around? Noong dinilever nyo doon sa Mexico, Pampanga, meron po bang warehouse man, yung warehouse? Sino po ang nagbukas ng warehouse? Ilan po yung weight ng shabu na darating according to the report of your agent? Sir, we will gladly answer all this question in an executive session, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> May I ask for a one-minute suspension? With regards to the question, if the Thailand authorities know uh, of this shipment containing illegal drugs, uh, we cannot uh, answer that question, sir, kung alam po nung uh, uh, Thailand authorities or they allow it to be uh, shipped, Your Honor, sir. Uh Noong pong uh, nag-decide po kayo na mag-conduct ng control delivery operations, meron siguradong information na meron po kayo. Di po ba? Yes, sir. Tama pa. So, either galing sa infor informant ninyo o sa agent ninyo ito? Mr. Chair, Your Honor, tama pa. May I know if the agent uh, concerned is around? He is around you, sir. Uh, Mr. Chair, may I ask questions from the agent? Uh, it, uh, by the name of the Ote, Ote. Is he present? Can you please come forward? Uh, Mr. Chairman, um, th that's, the, that's why we're requesting for an executive session. This is still an active case. It may compromise the safety of the agent, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Uh, may I know who is the handler of the agent? Mr. Chairman, he's a regular agent. Yeah, but who is his boss? Uh, I am Mr. Chairman. Uh, Jonathan, uh, matagal na tayo nakikita dito sa hearing dito sa house, di ba? Uh, when the agent reported to you na meron siyang information na may darating na na illicit drugs dito sa bansa, what was your first action? Well, first we have to document the information, sir. So, as a standard operating procedure, we have to document the intelligence report. Then we have to, uh, we have to uh, decide what approach to take in this particular information. So in this particular case, we coordinated with the uh, with the uh, with the NICA and uh, the BOC. The SOP is that when you document this, you come up with your uh, operational plan. Tama po ba? And kung uh, pursuant to the law, uh, kung hindi po kaya ng budget ng NBI, you have to ask uh if they, uh, if they have funds for this uh, purpose tama po ba yes mr chairman now was this done uh, yes mr chairman since when uh ba nagumpisa itong operations na ito well the information came uh, in 2020 mr chairman so this is a 3 year um we're working this case for the last three years. So it started 2020, and it continues up to the time it was seized, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, being, being the boss of the agent, uh, tinanong mo naman siya siguro. Uh, you tried to vet whether the information given by your agent is uh, authentic or not. Tama rin po ba? Yes, Mr. Chairman. And uh, ano po yung detalye na kanyang report? Uh, to such an extent that you have to conduct a controlled delivery operations. Ano po yung nagbunsod sa inyo para mag-decide na controlled delivery operations sa kailangan? So we're hoping that we could discuss this on a, uh, during the executive session, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chair, I don't think uh, 
revealing on uh, the criteria uh, that made them decide to conduct a controlled delivery operation would affect our national security or would affect uh, the, the, uh, the uh, uh, personal security of the agent concerned? Mr. Chair. Yeah, NBI, can you respond to the best that you could? Uh, not without revealing the uh, confidential information. Okay. Yes, sir. The, the information related that there was a drugs coming from uh, a particular country uh, into the country. Uh, it also the agent also says, uh, said that he was able to gather all this information personally. He personally acquired all this information. Uh, Attorney Jonathan, tinatanong ko ito dahil uh, para makita ko kung uh, yung uh, information na ibinibigay ng inyong agent ay katotohanan compared to what actually happened. For example, ilan po yung weight ng shabu na darating according to the report of your agent? Para ma-verify lang natin kung uh, totoo nga po yung sinasabi niya. Sir, we will gladly answer all this question in an executive session, Mr. Chairman. Because those details will definitely lead to the identity of the undercover agent, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Uh, ang control delivery kasi, uh, Attorney Jonathan, is that uh, alam na po lahat nung dadaanan ng illegal drugs. Alam na po nila lahat na may dadaan na illegal drugs. For example, the, uh, the Bureau of Customs, alam nila na darating, di po ba? Kasi ito coordinated eh. Uh, uh, just to identify kung sino po yung tatanggap dito ng illegal drugs. Di po ba? Kasi yun ang purpose. Kagaya ng definition ni uh, DG uh, Lazo. Di po ba? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Uh, yung yung uh, pag-deliver dito uh, pagkagaling doon sa customs, hindi naman po lalabas doon kung walang authority yung customs at saka authority to conduct uh, control delivery of uh, illicit drugs galing sa PDEA. Tama? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Now, pagkagaling doon sa customs, sino po ang nag-escort uh, papunto sa dapat pupuntahan? It's a uh, combined elements of uh, NBI, PDA, uh, BOC, and uh, NICA, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Ineskortan ng dami na yun? Ay, burn out na kayo. Di po ba? Uh, it was a selected team, Mr. Chairman. It was a selected team. May I ask PDA yeah? if uh, they, they were part of the escort team? from uh, the Bureau of Customs to its destination? Yes, Your Honor. Pideya was part of the escort group. And the PNP? Can I refer first to my regional directorship? Uh, as far as Pideya is uh, concerned, sir, we only know that it's uh, Pideya and uh, MBI escorting the container to the warehouse. Now, before uh, the goods uh, left uh, customs area, alam na po ba ninyo na hindi po punta sa Binondo, the original destination? Mr. Chairman, we're not ready to disclose those information in public. But we're willing to share that information to your honor in an executive session. Okay. Uh, 
See, uh, I do not see any reason why uh, hindi nyo ma-disclose yun eh. eh. Kasi upon the arrival of the, uh, kasi ang control the delivery operations, a very complicated uh, operation too eh. Uh, alam na alam ko. Dahil uh, uh, na-involved din ako sa uh, anti-illegal drug operations noon po sa assistance ng Constabulary Anti-Narcotics Unit. So alam ko po ito. Kaya very, very elaborate itong control delivery operations. And therefore, uh, pag ang control delivery operations, any deviation would have gotten the approval of the, the one in charge of the operations. That is why I'm asking this. When, when the Bill of Ladings said that Sabinondo, tapos bigla yung binago, when at what point in time did you change this? Di po ba? Uh, Mr. Chairman, we understand. But uh, we will definitely answer your questions, Mr. Chairman, to your satisfaction during the executive session. Uh, uh, yung... Uh, doon sa noon din deliver nyo doon sa Mexico Pampanga meron po bang warehouse man yung warehouse Mr. Chair your honor none your honor wala po wala po in other words there was nobody who would open the warehouse for you wala pong warehouse man na magbubukas ng warehouse kung saan nakita yung illegal drugs. Uh, sir, uh, it was uh, brought down by the yung pong mga kargador ng container. Matanong ko po, sino po ang nagbukas ng warehouse? May I ask for a one-minute suspension? Hearing is resumed. Congressman Ako, please proceed. Mr. Chair, ah. Uh... I would uh, stop my questioning in so far as the Mexico uh, Pampanga incident is concerned. I would now uh, revert to or refer to the Mabalakat uh, incident. Uh, may know from NBI, kung nandito po yung mga nag-react uh, doon sa presence ng vehicle doon po sa Mabalakat Pampanga. Nandito po ba sila? Sir, are you referring to the agents? Yes, who, I, who, I, who uh, reacted to the report of the presence of an abandoned vehicle in Mabalakat, Pampanga? Yes, Your Honor. Nandito po sila? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, pwede po bang uh, matanong po sila? Um, yes, Your Honor. Good morning, Your Honor. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, according to the report, uh, six days pong aban abandon yung Toyota Avanza sa, sa Mabalakat, Pampanga. And because of uh, the number of days na nandun na hindi nagagalaw, uh, nag-report po yung security uh, guard doon sa sa place na yon tama po that's correct your honor yes uh no noong pong uh, nagpunta kayo doon sa lugar uh, ano po yung una niyong ginawa initially nakipag-coordinate po kami sa PNP Mabalakat 
hinanap po namin yung office din ng DOJ. Unfortunately, hindi namin nakita. Nakipag-coordinate kami sa <clears throat> barangay. And then, nakipag-coordinate kami sa security officers ng establishment, Your Honor. Tama po. Uh, so, uh, let's presume, kasi doon sa statement kanina yung chief of police ng Mabalakad, Pampanga, na uh, nai-report sa kanila, pero hindi po sila nag-react. Let's uh, assume that. Uh, pero noong kayo po ay pumunta na ron at uh, binuksan, uh, meron po bang ibang police agencies na nandun? Wala, Your Honor. Ang kasama namin is yung Barangay and then Security Officers, Your Honor. Barangay and Security Officers. So, nung nabuksan po ninyo, uh, did you suspect na illicit drugs yung laman nung sasakyan? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. And what was the first thing that you should have done? Kung ganun po yung suspicion ninyo from the very start. Well, nag-coordinate nag kami, Your Honor, sa mga required witnesses before we conducted the full inspection and the inventory when you when you say full inspection would that include the field testing no your honor hindi po pa dapat meron kayong si standard operating procedure ninyo if you suspect it as uh, illicit drugs hindi po ba na tumatawag po kayo ng chemist from any agency, from the PDEA, from the police, and from your office, na mag-conduct ng field testing before you leave the scene of the crime? Hindi, hindi, hindi po standard operating procedure ng NBI, Your, your Honor. Ah. I, even we, when we conduct entrapment or by bus operation, tinuturn over na lang po namin for examination sa forensic chemist. Hindi naman po by bus operation to. Yeah, yeah, sure. Now, uh, after that, uh, 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 I presume na minarkahan nyo yung mga ebidensya na nakuha nyo. Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Pero, ano nyo minarkahan? Um, yung inventory officer, Your Honor, Minarakahan niya one by one per pack. Doon ba sa pack niyo sinulat o isinulat niyo sa isang tape at nilagay niyo? Isinulat sa tape, Your Honor. Is that also the standard operating procedure in marking pieces of evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Especially kung hindi pwedeng sulatan yung, yung packaging, Your Honor. So, ang ginagawa namin is nilalagyan namin ng tape. So, in this case, nilagyan namin ng tape and minart and initialed by the by the inventory and seizing officer. Kahit po yung pinaglagyan niya na sack, it was also Mark Runner. So, kayo po ang nagdala sa main office nitong uh, uh, seized, alleged seized illegal drug. Part ako nung nag-escort, Your Honor, because I was not the seizing officer, Your Honor. Okay. And at the uh, general headquarters or the main office of NBI, tinest ito, di po ba? Nung isinabmit na namin sa, nung isinabmit na ng seizing officer sa chemist, Your Honor, tinest na nila. They conducted the examination. And what was the result? And it was found out, Your Honor, that the that the substance is a dimethyl sulfone. In other words, hindi 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 component or hindi shabu. Um, may I refer to our forensic chemist, Your Honor. 
Well, is is he or she around? Simple lang po yung tanong ko eh. Doon ba sa test na kinundak ninyo, eh, siya po ba yun o ano? Yes or no? Yun lang po ang tanong ko. Kasi not, Mr. if you look at the, the media, even the PNP pronounce na siya po yung nahuli. I have, I have a copy of the statement of the chief of the Philippine National Police, as a matter of fact. Even yung media na nandun sa area, ay sinabi niya na illicit drugs yun. But only to find out after uh, the conduct of uh, a laboratory test at the headquarters of the NBI, ang lumabas ay hindi siya bu. Samantalang naka, nakapub, nakapublicize na lahat, maski sa YouTube, Shabu yung kwan. As a matter of fact, you were, you were being congratulated because of this. Unfortunately, your, your laboratory uh, expert said, hindi po shabu. So, gusto ko pong malaman, ano po yun? Uh, Mr. Chairman, may I reply to the query? Mr. Chairman, we did not claim that those substances found were shabu. The media came out that it were suspected uh, methamphetamine hydrochloride, but the, ne the NBI did ne never claim that those were shabu. Now, uh, if I may add, Mr. Chairman, that those uh, substances were found to be dimethyl sulfone, uh, which is uh, a... Uh, Extender, shabu extender, uh, which is being used in the manufacture of shabu. Uh, now, what's the relevance? What's the importance of this seizure? Uh, it only shows that there is a clandestine, uh, clandestine shabu laboratory in the Philippines right now. And there, those substances that we were able to seize are going to be used in the manufacture of that legal drugs. Uh, uh, manufacture yung illegal drugs, nawala yan. Would you agree? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman. But yes, and therefore, it is not a necessary ingredient to produce sabu. Uh, yes, Mr. Yes. Chairman. Uh, yan, kung totoo po yung report na yan, ay ginagamit yan para may dilute yung sabu. At may dilute yung sabu, pero the same weight. Yung potency ng shabu, malelesen. Pero yung weight niya, parehas pa rin. I think you can ask your chemist if you would agree with that. Good morning, Your Honor. I'm a forensic chemist, Juliet Mahilum of NBI. Yes, Your Honor. Dimethyl sulfone in the illicit manufacture of methamphetamine is used as cutting agent. Or in short, adulterants. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. May I, may I request that these uh, adulterants, uh, if in the thinking of the National Bureau of Investigation, would be part of the uh, of the uh, manufacture of uh, shabu? May I ask the uh, would this be, uh, shall we say, uh, delivered to PDEA? Uh, yes, Your Honor, it will be delivered to the PDEA this week. But for the meantime, it is still in our custody, Your Honor. May I know why it should be in your custody for a long time? Your Honor, since this is not a dangerous drug, so we have no idea whether we will we need to turn it over or not to the PDEA. May I, may I request, uh, Mr. Chair, that these uh, substances be delivered to PDEA? 
may we ask the NBI to please comply with the request of uh, the gentleman from Antipolo? Yes, Your Honor, we will comply, Your Honor. Thank you. Uh-huh. Uh, that would be all in so far as the Mabalak at Pambanga incident is concerned, Mr. Chair. Uh, I would just like uh, to ask my questions at the uh, exec executive session, if ever it will be approved. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yes, uh, thank you, Congressman Akop.